the Triangle is an interesting uh, location for music and culture, art, um, and I think Durham is unique uh, because I think it's the cultural nucleus of the Triangle. There's a lot of uh, diverse music and there seems to be an acceptance of that um, amongst the, the bands and musicians themselves, so it's a really good environment. This year, more than ever, uh, we have a huge talent pool. And um, I think we have six to seven bands that are outside of the area. But we um, found most of our headliners locally. Um, the Bowerbirds, Love Language, Dexter Ron Weber, Megaphone are all local. And that's, uh, that's a big change for us this year. It's just that like right now, like you have bands like The Love Language and Megaphone that are making it huge. And hey, they live right down the street and they want to play Troika. <laughs> kind of makes our job easy. You know, there's a really cool um, kind of intimate community uh, musically in the Triangle. So it's like, you know, going to all these bars and, and venues and just kicking it with your friends. It's like homecoming party kind of for all the great bands that this uh, community has fostered. So It's very gratifying to have all these bands in the same couple of city blocks um, and just all within the same distance of each other and, and knowing like as you're playing that something else awesome is happening. Mm -hmm. A lot of fans would think that's a pretty bad thing if you're playing a show and you have competition, but in this one instance it's a really great feeling. Now we've got Pinhook, we've got Marvell Event Center, Bull McCabe's which is where I'm sitting right now, <laughs> and uh, we've got the West End Wine Bar down here, and then we've got some uh, venues that are more makeshift venues. It's like the Trotter Building. Um, which is not too far, you know, a couple blocks walk that way, and then we've got Broad Street Cafe. Oh, Duke Coffee House, of course. And so it's kind of it's kind of tough sometimes, right? Where I want to build a bill where I think, hey, it'd be great if there's just four bands, people just want to stay and watch all four. At the same time, half of the fun of a festival is running around town, right? We've always wanted it to be a challenge. We've always wanted people to feel like, at the end of the night, their feet hurt and their heads hurt. But it's a good challenge, and Kyle Miller, who's one of the organizers, has done a fantastic job at timing things. So we have staged it in such a way that you might have an internal conflict with where you want to be, but we've done it in such a way that you can get to most of what you want to see in a particular night. Rock, paper, scissors is going to be really cool. First of all, the name is brilliant. Um, secondly, we've got some great bands playing, but the whole idea of pulling in other areas of the art community rather than it just being about music, you know. Yeah, there are three bands playing there. Um, three Days in Vegas, who's a relatively new band around. Um, they kind of remind me of Echo and the Bunnymen, and I love Echo and the Bunnymen, so I'm psyched. Um, but also Mount Moriah and Tin Star are both playing there, two bands that I think are great. Like, I think this is going to be a really fun show. And, uh, and the new skate park downtown, is having their grand opening at the same time as that, like a block and a half away. So we're like, we're really psyched for that. I think it's gonna be super fun.